simple maths. Three plus three, and then another two. That makes eight, and that's how many lanes there are on the track. Kenny Fletcher squeezed in there as a time qualifier, and he'll go from lane one. So the officials just doing some last minute checks on those hurdle heights. Most of the standing water has disappeared. Just looking across to see whether it's uneven in any way, if there's any particular water on one side. But it's a very modern track and facility generally, so drainage somewhat better. Perhaps an older venue. So Fletcher and then Vistos Panayotis Rumsios of Greece. Beating in the chest. Look how eager he is to get underway. I think we've been eager to start talking as well. Manuel Mordi, who won the German title last Saturday, aged just 19. This is Jakub Szymanski of Poland. And then watch out for this man, Lorenzo Mdele Simonelli. Fourth at the European Senior Indoors in Istanbul. And the reigning bronze medalist, the under-20s, Sasha Zoya. Well, he dominated the under-20 age group level, winning the European title and also world champion as well. Over to Mark Haydn. So, strong Dutch contingent that was brought here. Here, it's unfortunately injured in the heats. But uh, Haydn and Costa, who goes in the other semi-final, looking very strong. And then Ruug of Switzerland, 13.92. He's improved to this year. Now, we talked about, not only, uh, of course, uh, treacherous in the rain, but generally, high rate of attrition in those heats earlier. Just getting through them was difficult. We had some high-profile casualties, shall we say, not to overbill it, but quite a few athletes hitting the hurdles quite hard and ending up being out of the race for qualification through to these semi-finals. So, be glad, Seven. guys, you've made it. They'll want to go one more step. So, Simonelli in the all-blue kit. Szymanski going nicely. What about Sasha Zoya edging into contention now? Zoya, Simonelli, and just about Szymanski, who is battling with Haydn of the Netherlands. 13.21, wow, in these conditions, absolutely extraordinary, I almost want full confirmation of that, 13.22, now given, so, Sasha Zoya has uh, taken down by one hundredth of a second the mark from Laji Decore back in 2003 when these championships were in Bidgosh. Extraordinary. Well, what an absolutely fantastic run from Sasha Zoya. He looks a completely different person from the athlete who ran in the heats this morning. <laughs> and that's just a couple of hundredths away from his own personal best of 13.17. Zoya away very, very quickly indeed. Battling head to head at this stage over hurdles five with both Simonelli and Szymanski on his inside. Now Szymanski starting to drift back a little bit as Zoya pulls away off the final hurdle to beat Simonelli. What an unbelievable race there. I would never have guessed that in these conditions 13.21 was possible. Look at the rain still on the track at the far end of the stadium over the first 30 to 40 metres. The officials have done a fantastic job of drying it out and as... Alex was saying this is a modern track, it does drain very quickly, but it's still very, very slick out there. But there's no problems, the slickest man in the business was Sasha Zoya. Indeed, yes, I wonder whether the fact that he hadn't run that quickly this year meant he really felt that he needed to be 